Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading Libra. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Now your first card here is the Wheel of the Year. Um, this is signifying things are quickly coming to a change. For some of you guys, it could be um, feeling like things are progressing in regards to your finances. Um, your luck is about to change for some of you guys. It could be a windfall of good luck. Now, the emperor is here um, as an obstacle. So what they're saying is that you need to find some type of uh, consistency or some type of stability in, in a specific uh, situation that you're dealing with when it comes to love and romance. For some of you guys, it could be the lack of structure. Um, what is it that your idea, wh what is it that your idea of love is? Is it something that is becoming an issue when it comes to stabilizing relationships? Is it something that, um, perhaps when it's exciting and when things are going great, uh, you're very motivated. Um, but when it comes to dealing with issues, of course, as it all happens, uh, when it comes to relationships, which is part of growing, are you quickly diminished? Are you quickly losing interest? And if that's the case and it's something that's been occurring or reoccurring in your past relationships, you kind of have to confront the fact that perhaps it's not the partners. Perhaps it's something that you yourself are running away from. Now, there is a lot of need for balance here. We have two twos, the two of pentacles and the two of swords. Now, with the page of cups i think that for a lot of you guys what they're saying here is that there is a situation when it comes to relationships that uh, you know it, it's almost like you romanticize what relationships should be and when it becomes difficult or when you're challenged um it could it could become potentially an issue because you don't allow the relationship to grow. You're very quick either to walk away or to completely lose interest and go to the next person. So what Spirit is telling you here is that you need to work on that Libra. This is something that is going to be continuously coming up in your life um, until you really get to the bottom of what it is that what's your life lesson when it comes to partnerships. Is it that you have a tendency of self mirroring. Um, so what I mean by that is when you notice that your partner starts to become cold and distant, then you mirror that and you begin to become cold and distant instead of communicating. But you're doing it um, on a subconscious level almost to, uh, you know, kind of get a reaction out of your partner. But in reality, what you're doing is both of you guys are not really communicating and you're at a standstill. Now, the advice for the situation here is the hanged man. You have to look at the situation with different eyes. Step back from the situation. Try to analyze, is this something that's been continuously reoccurring in your life? Are you, uh, do you have a tendency of running away as a defense mechanism? Are you, do you have a tendency of not really putting in the effort and just, you know, like I said, uh, mirroring the more the partner becomes distant the more you do because you're doing it up you know like I said on a subconscious level like a defensive mechanism um, and allowing uh, certain aspects uh, when it comes to partnerships to slide so you know is it self-sacrificing that you tend to do is it that you continuously keep forgiving people that step out of the relationship and you put up with infidelities and is it something that you continuously keep doing in past relationships up until where you're at right now? And if that's the case, why is it that you're doing that? Is it because you genuinely love them and it is coming from a selfless uh, type of energy? Or is it because you feel that that's what you deserve and you settle? Um, even sometimes running away or walking away from relationships uh, has a tendency like uh, ultimately what is it that you're running away from you're running away from something of you something that has to do with yourself so it's time to figure that out Libra because I do see a lot of 
fears in connection with even being single. For some of you guys, you haven't been single for quite a while. For some of you guys, you've been, uh, like I said, doing something that is reoccurring in this, re in this relationship or in your life. Um, it could be that you jump from one relationship to another without really allowing healing or without learning or accepting the lesson that was learned in the previous relationship. For some of you guys, it could be just the fact that you fear to be alone. So that's why you settle with this type of energy, with people walking all over you or hurting you or stepping out of the relationship. Now you have the high priestess here. Pay attention to your intuition, Libra. What Spirit is saying is for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I think that you're getting to the point of understanding that sometimes we're better off being alone. And it's not in a negative way. What I mean by that is that when you start to learn to be alone, to be on your own, to solely depend on yourself, then your self-love starts to grow. And the more it starts to grow, the more you're teaching other people around you how to treat you. The more you love yourself, the less you're, you know, um, going to be putting up with nonsense. Therefore, you're teaching people uh, boundaries. And it, I think that that's something very important because that's something that perhaps you've had issues with, even in, not just in relationships, but, uh, with people around you at work with family members, um, boundaries is something that is very important and sometimes very difficult to implement, especially when we're used to, uh, people not really, you know, not really knowing about limitations and they solely depend or constantly depend on you. So what Spirit is saying here is that, you know, the more you get comfortable with yourself, the more um, you learn about yourself, the more love you're going to have for yourself. And therefore, you're not going to be settling, you know, to be treated unfairly or unjustly. Now, if you are dealing with a situation where there was a stepping out of the relationship or your partner all of a sudden uh, disappeared or is not communicating, um, truth is you've been intuitively picking up on the fact that you feel that this person has created distance because they're dealing with someone else. And if that's the case, whether you say to yourself, you know, I haven't seen them, I haven't seen her, I haven't caught her, it doesn't mean it's not happening. What they're saying is you got to pay attention to your intuition. Stop ignoring it. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it gives you some type of insight and we'll see each other soon. Bye.